Does that ever challenge your own faith in Jesus? Oh, big, big time. I mean, so often my faith is really challenged. And I remember one of the times it hit hardest was I'd been in South Sudan walking through the killing fields and the carnage, and I was sitting outside my tent on the last evening. You have to have tents, there are no buildings. And I just cried my eyes out. My faith was so challenged. And it was that old perennial challenge. If we have a God of love, who is omniscient and omnipotent, how come he allows all innocent children to suffer and die like that? And my faith was challenged big time. Then suddenly, incongruously, there in that 40 degrees of heat, my thoughts turned to Christmas. And I thought, well, it's a funny thought, but maybe one way in which we who live in the comfort zones might find it a little difficult to deal with this evil, and I call it evil, the carnage of children, may be reflected in the way we keep Christmas. It was a funny thought there in Sudan, but it spoke to me. And I thought, well, maybe one reason why we can't deal with the slaughter of children is if in our Christmases we celebrate, of course, we all celebrate Jesus' birth and Mary's joy and love incarnate and God loving us so much he comes to be born as a baby. Of course, there's nothing greater to celebrate than that. But if we stop there, and if our Christmas continues with Boxing Day and family holidays and parties and presents and happy times, and we forget that not long after, when Mary was still celebrating the birth of Jesus, all those other mothers were weeping because Herod had slaughtered their children, then perhaps if our theology doesn't embrace that as part of the equation of Christmas, it's not surprising that we can't deal theologically with the modern-day Herods who continue to slaughter the modern-day children. Mm. Then my thought went on to the end of Jesus' life, when Mary, his mother, was standing at the foot of his cross as he died in agony on that cross. And I thought, well, maybe it should be a part of any Christian's calling to be prepared maybe to leave our comfort zones and to attend whatever Calvaries our Lord may call us to attend and to be there as Mary was in that time of ultimate suffering and tragedy, feeling as hopeless as Mary, but as full of love and full of deep respect. Because it's only really in the Calvaries, in the cross, where of course he visited last Good Friday, that we can find that ultimate meaning of suffering. And so that was where my thoughts finished that day, the willingness to attend whatever Calvaries our Lord may call yeah. us to attend and find in there some answer towards that challenge to our faith. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be Sudan. It can be in a hospice down the road. There are Calvaries all over the place in our lives or near our lives that maybe we could and should be available to engage with and to be there in love and respect.